Hi guys, Peter Webster back again. Um, just a quick video today, just to fill in the gap till I can get the next one sorted out. Uh, I had a little gift and a very big fly. And uh, I done a trade with another gentleman off YouTube. Uh, this first box here, this is from Darren Domit. The, the gentleman who's uh, trusted me to look after these little uh, brachialbop, Bev. And he sent me this as a thank you. And what we have here is a random huntsman. In other words, they don't, they don't know what species it is. That's from the spider shop. Uh, get rid of that and this other box is from a gentleman called Darren Luthwaite who watches my videos he approached me because he's not really into centipedes and he had one in his collection that he wanted to do a trade so I'm going to send him a spider or two as a trade with this little guy all I know is from what he showed me on a picture with, which is a Borneo centipede. Uh, so I'll just get rid of some of this. Let's have a look what we got here. Nice size tub. Picture didn't look very big, so it's hard to say how big this guy is. But let's have a look anyway and see what we've got in here. Okay, everything's falling on the floor as it does. Let's just nip these tapes. Oh, you know, I can see her. No. Oh, yes. Yes, I can. Is a, a nice looking centipede, actually. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can show you through the lid. Um, he's scrambling around at the top there. It looks like there's a small opera in with him. Can you see him, guys? So, uh, he's, he's, he's popping his antenna out. Right, so it's an Ethmos stigmus species Blue Borneo and it's priced at £30 on the top of the lid so what I'm going to do now guys I'm going to pause the video just for a minute and get some enclosures ready and we'll re these two guys so you can have a proper look at them I'll be back in two shakes ok guys sorry about that right top for the centipede let's get that little guy done first figure out which end he is There he is guys, let's have another wander around his new enclosure, lovely looking animal, get down, get down, right there's that one, I'm very happy about him, I absolutely love the blue, blue coloration on him, it's gorgeous, he's a valuable addition to my collection. So thank you for Dad and Luke Wait. Uh, we'll pop that in. 
Could be we don't need that, do we? Right now, the the escapologist, the little huntsman. Hopefully, doing it this way shouldn't get out. Well, he definitely will get out because I've dropped it. And still I come off it. Go on, little man. Very, 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 very. Coming to the top. He's coming to the top. Right. Spy French stop. It's stopped. Right, Darren, Mr. Domit, there's your gift to me. Absolutely amazing. Fast and furious, as they always are. Right, guys, that concludes today's little unboxing and reos. I hope you enjoyed that, just to get a video for you guys. Now, we've just noticed that the two total 30 communals, the Regalis and the Ornata have got quite large and the um, Sakota Island Blue Baboon um, yeah oh what's it called now uh, da, 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 da. come on what's it called Bob what? Uh, Monocentralfus Balfouri had a mind uh, fart then brain fart so I shall be getting three enclosures ready possibly for the next video to do communal reagents which should be interesting it's the first of me I've, since I had the communal set up they've been in the same pots eating like pigs and it'd be nice to see how many are still with us so there we go there's my new heteropodal species unknown And my new, uh, okay, my little blue Borneo centipede. Darren Luthwaite, Darren Domit. Thank you guys, well appreciated. I will sort you some time, Darren, for trading for this little guy. I'll never go back on my word, as people will tell you. Uh, I ain't got the channel name yet for that one. I do, my wife just reminded me I've got a shout out to a little girl, an eight year old girl who's been watching my videos. I believe her dad's name's Barry. And she has got her own little channel now. But I haven't um, got her channel name yet. Or the little lady's name. So if you're watching this guy and you know you know what I'm talking about, hit me over on Facebook Messenger or Instagram at nicepeter underscore one Instagram or Peter Webster Messenger and I'll get the details and I'll add the descriptions down in my video description at the bottom. But either way, hello little girl. <laughs> That's the best I can do at the moment, sorry. Uh, she absolutely adores my videos, which is nice to the younger generation. Like we've got little Princess Selfie Pink, little Lolly. She's becoming a bit of a, a star on the Blue Peter scene. Fair play to her. And I believe her mum and Ollie have got a couple of um, meetings organised. One with a scouts group to talk about invertebrates. And I believe one for... Um, a nursery where her husband works to talk about some creepy crawlies and no doubt all they'll be doing the handling and mum will be there just to keep an eye so keep an eye out on the channel 
and you might see some more action from her. So that's it for me guys. Um, I'm going to love and leave you now. I've got things to do in the house. I've got loads of things to do in the Invertarium. Oh, uh, just a quick explanation why I haven't shown the reptiles off yet. Um, I had a sad, sad loss a couple of days ago. Um, I, have, I actually owned a seven foot female Brazilian rainbow boa. I, actually, I never actually showed it to you guys because I was waiting for the right video to do it in. But you won't be seeing her now guys, we had to bury her yesterday, she passed away. And we believe it was mites that caused it. So we checked the other two snakes behind me and sure enough, they had mites as well. I have treated them as we treated the whole invertarium. My wife and my daughter didn't eat until 10 o'clock last night, treating everything, wiping everything down, making sure there's nothing about. But I've ordered some tarsus mites, predatory mites as well, just in case there are any lingering around on the, on the actual snakes, because as you know, they get under the scales and I've been keeping reptiles now for 30 plus years and I have never ever seen a mite, let alone had a mite in my collection. So it was a kick in the teeth and to be honest with you guys, I was ready to get online, put a video up and give everything I own away. I was that upset. It cost me over £30 for treatment and I just hope we've done it right and then we soaked both snakes in some nice warm water and uh, wipe them down to get rid of the dead ones and touch wood so far so good everything seems clean but when the predatory mites come i should be putting a few in each of the enclosures and what they do is actually they actively seek out um, the actual black mite on the snake and they eat them and when there's no more food for them to eat, they just literally disappear, fade away naturally, they die off, uh, so they're not long living mice, and they won't affect any of my inverts or anything. And obviously, we can't use an aerosol spray to spray the whole shed, or else I'll, have, I'll end up with 300 dead inverts on my hands. And I ain't going there. So, when I know my snakes are okay, my skin hasn't got anything. He's clean as a whistle, so we believe that the Brazilian rainbow possibly had them and when she passed on obviously they will drop off her and find new meat and we think that's what's happened. So I've been encouraged by a few YouTubers who are contacted saying don't give up, it happens to us all. It was just so heartbreaking to see and to lose my girl as well. Well, that's it anyway. So that's the only updates I've got for you now. Everything else is alive and happy. Um, feeding day to day. Well, tonight my wife and daughter will be in here till probably 10 o'clock tonight starting the feeds. And then finish off tomorrow. So guys, until I do the rehousing now of the communals. I'm going to order me some new tanks off the spider shop in a moment. Some of the, the tarantula room style enclosures because I like those. You've got a nice access panel with the, the lid at the top. So for now guys, till the next time Peter Webster, loving you all. Bye bye.